All right, everybody, welcome to BrokenSkullRanch.com. I've been talking about doing a Q&A for a long time, so right now we're going to get down to a Q&A. I'm going to answer these questions long story short, and I went on my Twitter account and filled in these questions, wrote them down on these little pieces of paper and my own little chicken scratch that I call handwriting. First question is from Dan Mari 74 and Dan asked me, why the name Broken Skull Ranch and what is its mission? Well, long story short is, I named this place the Broken Skull Ranch because I damn near had to break my skull to buy it. My mission here is to grow big deer and have a good time. This is my private refuge. End of story. It's a pretty simple deal out here. I love this place. Aaron Bruin wants to know, what got you interested in antique clocks? Some people know, some people don't know that I collect antique clocks. Uh, Neon clocks, not grandfather clocks. I like neon clocks. My mother got me collecting antiques back in about 1992. I've kind of been doing it my whole life. And uh, with my interest in time, I'm a little bit of a time fanatic. I started collecting neon clocks, beer clocks. I kind of stick to that kind of stuff. And a little bit in the automotive world as well. Anyway, I just love clocks. I love the way they look and they tell time. So that works for me. Matisse Borsani. I don't know how you pronounce that, but that's how I'm saying it. Ask, have you something to regret about your pro wrestling career? Well, no, I mean, you know, when you look back at anything you ever did, hindsight being 2020, some things you'd like to do a little bit differently. If I could just probably just come up with one of them, I'd say probably handling the Brock Lesnar Atlanta deal a little bit differently than I did. I was supposed to work with Brock on a Monday Night Raw in Atlanta, I found out in Columbus, uh, Columbus, Georgia that night when I was working with Ric Flair in a cage, one of my, my most favorite pro wrestler of all time. And anyway, I took my ball and went home, as uh, WWE said, and it was a bad decision I made, and I wish I would have handled it a little bit different than I did. And really, that's about the only thing I'd change if I could go back in time. But as we know, right now we can't. Although I am working on building a time machine over at the BSR laboratory, but that's a whole other story for a whole other day. Oh, Dario Corella. Dario Sorella. I can't read my own handwriting, so work with me on this. What's your favorite finisher other than mine? I'm telling you, there's been some great finishers uh, in the world of pro wrestling, sports entertainment, whatever you want to call it. Uh, man, I enjoyed the Iron Claw back in the day. I believed it was real, and it was real for a while. But I think if I have to pick one finisher, which is the most devastating, which you could do to just – Anybody could take it. Anybody could give it. It'd be the, the, the finisher that Jake the Snake Roberts used, and it was the DDT. Lots of people use the DDT as a high spot these days. Lots of people have used it as a finish. But when Jake Roberts had the DDT going, most lethal thing in the world, and you believed it was a real 100%. So that's my favorite one. Sean Kelly 9, or Scan Kelly 9. What is your favorite building or city to wrestle in? I'm going to give you a real long story short on that one. Rosemount Horizon, Chicago, Illinois. It is Illinois, ain't it? <laughs> Just kidding you. Who's your favorite wrestler? Covergirl33 wants to know who's your favorite wrestler. My favorite wrestler is Nature Boy Ric Flair. Thrilling Dylan. Hey, man, deep down inside, didn't part of you think the name Ringmaster was totally awesome? Not only no, but hell no. <laughs> I knew it sucked, but it was a foot in the door and, uh, you know, came up with the Stone Cold Steve Austin gimmick and everything worked out okay. Fred X 11 sends in a question. What is your goal in your acting career? <clears throat> Boy, let me delve deep into thought on this one. There's so many things that I want to accomplish in the world of acting. But the two most important are, I want to keep paying the bills, and I want to get better. So, you know, that's about it. I enjoy what I do. I stay busy. I've been lucky. And, uh, you know, when you start out at anything, you start at the level you do, and with repetition, you get better. And working with uh, better people, you get better. So I want to keep working. I want to keep paying the bills. I'm going to get better at what I do. And that's how it ends with that one. Oh, here, here's the last one we got, and this is Greg, retired Navy. So how is your neck really doing these days? Next fine. It's attached to the rest of me, though. That's the problem. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Man, I tell you what, I get uh, questions like this all the time. Man, I'm in zero pain. I get up, 
uh, you know, every now and then on a winter day, uh, might, might be a little stove up for the most part. I don't have anything to complain about. When I had my C3 and 4 fuse back in 2000, they cleared out some space there in my uh, spinal canal, took the bone spurs that were growing into my spinal cord off. So, man, I'm good to go. I'm not trying to say I'm ready to get back in the ring for another couple of years. Just as far as how my neck is really doing, I'm fine. I'm able to do uh, the movies that I do, the action movies that I do, work out like an animal still, and all is good. And those, uh, the President of the United States just sent me a text message if you heard that ringing. Anyway, uh, that's all for today, folks. This was the Q&A. This is my first stab at this. We're going to clean up this process and trim it down or add to it. But nonetheless, we finally got one film for BrokenSkullRanch.com. Thanks for stopping by. And if I don't see you around here, we'll see you around here. Can you get a shot of Hershey over there? <laughs> and before we leave, we put Shota out there. Boy, I tell you what, these dogs out here at the Broken Skull Ranch have had a tough day. It's Steve Austin. I'm out.